Alright, so like I said, I think for this playthrough, uh, this is my second one for this game, um, I essentially have only two more, because I need to play through with the adventurer, the monk, the scientist, and then these two kids. So I think for each of the playthroughs I'm going to play with uh, two new characters, and then my third character will be the hillbilly. So let's go ahead and um, kind of going going to go in order here. Um, so let me go ahead and go with the adventurer. Hmm, the adventurer. She is hot on the trail of her lost companions and unequaled ancient treasure, but not necessarily in that order. All right. Actually, wait. Ah, the monk. Let me go with the hillbilly. The hillbilly. On this fine night, he searches for his true love, but does desire burn too brightly in his heart? So for both of those, uh, the next playthroughs, I'm going to go ahead and pick the hillbilly. The twins. And he's just going to be the one character that I use that's the same, just because I want to get the um, achievement where you have to find all the fortunes of the people. So let's go ahead and open these up. Switch to him. That'd be the main one. All right. The twins. They just want moving along. And then the monk. Ah, the monk. He seeks his master so he can become the master. It's a journey filled with peace and enlightenment and murder. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Let me um actually. You know what? No, I'll do the monk. Or should I do the... You know, the twins are interesting. The twins. They just want to go outside and play. What could hmm. be more innocent than that? All right. The twins are pretty interesting, so let's go. All right, so for this part, it's pretty much the same. Um, as I said before, the only difference between each playthroughs are the areas specific to the characters. Now, obviously, the hillbilly one's going to be the same since I did it before. Um, but the twins and the... The adventurer are going to be different this time around, and then for my next playthrough, it's going to be the event, uh, the monk and the scientist. So. Okay, so I got the box. Just got to put him on the bridge. What the, 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 the You break it, you buy it. Just saying. I don't think that bridge has been safety tested with more than two people. Alright, so basically this first part is the same. Careful. If that bridge breaks, there might be no way back up. And by if, I mean when that bridge breaks. <laughs> Who am I kidding? The prologue part is the same. Or you gotta grab the stuff for the curator of the museum. Alright, so let's go to him. Keep those two in the water for now. I don't need to, to bring the postcard anymore. So I did that on my first playthrough. I'm glad because it was kind of a pain. Um, right, let's talk to this guy. Oh, 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 I hope you're not here to visit the cave, because we, we, we're closed. A gruesome and horrific accident has occurred, and there's no way we can open. No way. I shudder to even describe to you what has transpired. For the nightmares will forever haunt your every thought. Well, if you insist. When I came in, we had no trinkets to sell in the gift shop. <laughs> the key, man. Oh, the humanity. I, I, I'll never be the same. Some things you can't unsee. What am I going to do now? I can't lose my job. I need the health insurance. The cave is doomed without gifts. How am I going to make... No. There is a way oh. I could reopen. Allowing you fine adventurers to partake in the unique experience that only the cave has to offer. I just need three small trinkets to sell. Just three. Let me say that number again. Three. 
Take this giant novelty size key. It's cute, isn't it? Open the employee's <laughs> back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. Alright. Later, bro. Let's grab these things real quick. I need to soothe that one monster. <laughs> he is a funny little man, isn't he? I should probably fire him. I think he's dipping into the till. Alright, so there we go. We got the well. Gonna need the... The crank for it. Wait. Got this... Lever that I gotta pull. I can drop the crowbar. I don't think I need it anymore. Uh, you gotta go down the ladder. I'm gonna try my best not to die in this playthrough. But it's going to be kind of hard because the adventure is a little bit difficult. I think the, the best characters to use to not die are the hillbilly, the twins, and the, um, the monk, I believe. Maybe I should have gone for that combination, but it's all good. So here's this cave painting for the adventure. The glory of discovery. That's cool. That's my first one. the bucket. But I need a crank. All right, I need the crowbar. What am I doing? Did I drop it up top? Ah, damn. Or did I drop it down? Ah, there we go. Okay. Freaking crowbar, man. I forgot I still need you. I literally played through this the other day. Alright. My fault. Alright. Let's yank this thing out of here. Grab that. Go grab the bucket. Put it on the. Oh damn! Put it on top of the transformer thing. There we go. That broke. Bucket. Grab this. Cute kids and a happy family. Whoops. Hmm. Look kind of cool. Alright, let's grab the bucket. If she jumps high. Alright, bucket on top, grab the transformer, fusing. Alright, there we go. dog on the stick. Wait, while I do this, let me go ahead and move the hillbilly up top. So you can be next to the controls for the machine. Alright, I'm gonna put this on there. Ring the bell. 
Hello? 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 What are you doing, bro? Dude! Why? Won't you? Oh, the freaking fuse! Oh my god, I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay. Did he? I'm guessing he ate the hot dog and then went back, right? Oh my god. Man! I am failing right now, okay. Alright, let me... Damn it. Alright, let me grab the twins. Oh, I'm at it. Grab another hot dog. Grab the fuse. Grab the hot dog. No! Okay, fine. I'm trying to play from memory, and that's not working right now, so... Failing a little bit, wait. Alright, let me put the hot dog on there. Let me bring this guy over here, so he's safe. Gotta grab these two. Bring them up top. They're gonna be the ones that are gonna pull the lever. Did his hair just... <laughs> that's funny. Cute. All right, put that in there. Okay. So she's gonna ring the bell. And grab the monster. There it is. All right. I failed a little bit, but it's all good. Got it in the end. Holy crap! He's angry. All right, now we go. I'm just gonna go with one. Have the hillbilly again. I got all these though, so. Alright. And we jump. Alright, here we're gonna need the dynamite. Light it, drop it, and run. Go on through. Grab the first artifact. First guitar. All right. Grab the second artifact, which is actually down here. I think I'll take the hillbilly for this just in case. So you can breathe underwater. Grab the jeweled skull. Adventure next. I think I'm gonna have to bring the twins over here actually. I don't think they're gonna follow me or spawn over here. So let's move everyone across. Grab the adventure, grab the last artifact. The speed ship award. Call the elevator. So far, so good. Although, a few hookups in the beginning, because I forgot what to do. At least, no deaths yet, so that's fine. Alright, so here's the first one. Well, that's one trinket. A far nice. cry from three trinkets. Alright, here's a second one. Ah! Trinket numero two! Maybe I didn't pay attention during math class, 
but uh, two is less than three. Yeah, yeah, sure, here's the last one. Ah, the third glorious trinket. I have to say, you have surprised me. I figured you'd give up after one. Hmm. <laughs> I opened the damn door. Oh, right. Sorry. Alright, cool. Let's go. Old sign. Limited liability waiver for the cave. Did I read this before? By entering the cave, the cave, you hereby agree to hold harmless the cave, the cave inc, its parent company, amalgamated aluminum holdings, and all subsidiaries of the cave, whether real or for fictitious and any and all injuries physical and emotional or spiritual during the duration of your visit to the cave and for a minimum of one year and a maximum of five years upon exiting the cave the cave is also not responsible for any damage or loss or theft of or to personal items and clothing you also agreed in full to reimburse the cave for any damage you might or might not have caused during your visit enjoy your splunking that's funny I don't think I read that last time. <laughs> well, that was a close one. It does bode well for our intrepid spelunkers that they navigated that maze of intrigue. I have high hopes for this group. Much better than the last. I think they may still be down here. I should probably get them out. Nothing scares away the tourists like a rotting corpse. Well, not so cute after all. Yeah. They really hate their parents, huh? Okay, wait. So I need to take the hillbilly off this thing real quick. Grab this. And leave it right here for it to drop onto. Let's grab the twins. Billy. Holy crap, that was close. Alright. There's all three of them. Is there really only one cave painting here? That seems a little odd. I think so. Alright, let's go. This will be further out. Alright, not gonna go that way. So we don't have the night this time. Wait, where do we go? There has to be a s different path we can take to avoid this part. It's not this way, is it? Oh, it's just left. There we go. 